You know, zinc is a fascinating trace mineral. It's involved in so many different biochemical reactions. But today we're going to talk about the relationship between zinc and your hormones. Now, zinc is involved in so many different biochemical pathways, but it's majorly involved in quite a few of your hormones. In fact, it's involved in all of your major hormones. Let's go through this. First of all, there's two pituitary hormones called follicle stimulating hormone and luteinizing hormone, and they send signals down to the gonads, both the ovaries and the testicle. So in men, luteinizing hormone, LH, increases testosterone. So zinc increases testosterone. If you're zinc deficient, your gonads actually shrink. You get what's called hypogonadism. So zinc will increase your testosterone. Now, there's also another situation where you have testosterone turning into a very powerful form of testosterone called DHT through a very specific enzyme called 5-alpha reductase. So if there's too much of this enzyme, you get too much DHT. And one of the problems you get is you get hair loss. Another problem is prostate enlargement. So zinc helps act as an inhibitor of 5-alpha reductase, limiting the amount of DHT you get. Now, when a female uh, follicle stimulating hormone and luteinizing hormone control estrogen and progesterone, so zinc will help increase progesterone as well as estrogen, unless you have estrogen dominance, which I'm going to get to in a second. But so many women during menopause end up having a major deficiency in progesterone. And if they took a little zinc, they would actually have more progesterone. They would have better ratios of progesterone to estrogen. Now, if a woman is menopausal, she typically has a lot less estrogen. And so zinc can help bring that up to a, a correct level. But you also have another enzyme that converts testosterone into estrogen. It's called aromatase. And if there's too much of this hormone, you're going to get estrogen dominance. Now, this can happen in men and women. And one of the things that will increase this uh, enzyme is plastics in the environment. And it just so happens that a really good aromatase inhibitor is zinc. So zinc will help you from developing too much estrogen if you're a male or a female. Then we get to growth hormone, which is the main fat burning hormone. It's an anti-aging hormone. It has everything to do with uh, regulating and helping you make new proteins in the body. And it just so happens that zinc uh, supports normal growth hormone levels, as well as another hormone that is an extension of growth hormone, which is made by your liver called IGF number one. Then we get to the thyroid. In order for you to convert T4, the inactive form of the thyroid hormone to T3, which is the active form, you need zinc. You also need selenium and you also need iodine, but zinc is very important in this conversion. Also zinc is needed by the pituitary and the thyroid to make more of its thyroid hormone. And then lastly, let's talk about insulin. Okay, insulin is a very important hormone and it's very important not to have too much of this hormone. So zinc helps increase insulin sensitivity as well as helps inhibit insulin resistance, thereby decreasing the amount of insulin. So zinc is all about helping your blood sugars, helping regulate insulin levels. Zinc is intimately involved with so many key hormones. Before you go real quick, I have a course entitled How to Bulletproof your immune system. It's a free course. I want you to take it. And here's why. Here's you. Here is your environment. Everyone is focused on this over here, avoiding your environment. But what about here? What about strengthening your immune system? That's what's missing. This course will show you how to bulletproof yourself. And so you can tolerate and resist your environment much better by strengthening your own immune system. I put a link down in the description right down below. Check it out and get signed up today. Hey, before